think the stillness is is very important, powerful. We're all here to seek it and find it. That's all. And the ego will entertain other things, other thoughts, doubt thoughts. But we're just here to experience the stillness of God. And it may not seem like much is happening there, you know, but that's okay. We can still stay there. Because much is happening there, much, much will be revealed. in terms of peace. Because we always join with something. We either join with truth or illusion. We either join with doubt or faith. So why not join with faith? Why not open to trust and peace and to see, like he says, I want to see what my defenses hide. I want to see what my defenses hide. The ego says it hides something terrible. Spirit says, no, no, it's something very good underneath. <laughs> underneath your defenses. to see those little differences in the mind, in the thinking. They are very, they may not even be thoughts, they may be just subtle interpretations or thoughts of hopelessness, like repeating feeling sense inside. You know? But to detect that, to detect those doubts in the mind, those little subtle feelings and sensations or beliefs to really detect them and pluck them out and give them the spirit and to not be afraid of the emptiness that might be there Just allow whatever is there, if there is doubt, if there is self-judgment, if there is just a subtle energy of stress in the head or overthinking, thinking how do I perform or what do they think or... Okay, we can see see those feelings and allow them to move on. We just allow them to move on and rest. Keep allowing a restful experience. It's alert, it's open. It sees everything, it notices everything, it's not sleepy. But it's restful. And Jesus says, we need to become like little children and that means that we need to realize our full dependence on our Father. 
Like little children are so dependent on their parents. They have no idea where to go, what to do. If the parents don't show them and tell them. And we are invited to be like that, to be so dependent on God that we can just rest in him and ask. We don't have to figure out our life. We don't have to figure out our day. We don't have to figure out our next five minutes. We're just invited to rest and acknowledge the dependence on God. He's even saying, if there is something to do, you will be told. But he wants to train us to say, I need do nothing. I need do nothing. I need do nothing. Whenever this doer gets activated and thinks we need to fill up our day or need to figure out something. We say, I need do nothing. And hand over all these thoughts, all these figuring out, all this planning. We give it up, we give it over. We allow our minds to go into this divine sense of rest. This allowance. And if we get anxious, we think we need someone needs us, we think we're responsible, think we should something. We give that over and take another moment. to rest again and trust that we will be shown, we will be told what to do and when and with whom. We may not often be told why, but that's okay. We we are undoing the one that thinks it needs to understand. We are becoming divine followers. We don't need to let the left hand know what the right hand is doing, because that is analyzing. Spirit wants this clean, pure vehicle. And we want that experience of the oneness with spirit. It's just a pure, pure, pure joy.